Apparently, I need to get a job, but I need to be sober in order to do that. But being sober is impossible unless you have a Nintendo Switch accompanied by Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I used a super advanced calculator on Amazon.com to find out how much it would cost, and that's $375 will pay for not only the Nintendo Switch with Joy-Con controllers, but also Smash Bros. Ultimate. I need this money immediately, so don't even think about it. Just do it, please. The support will mean a lot to me because I'm bored as heck. Please help. Thanks and stuff. We're back again, two uploads in three days, we're making progress, and thanks as always for the inspiration to do it, and the time out of your day to actually watch these, it means the world to me, it's absolutely fantastic, so thank you. If you do enjoy, consider hitting that like, that subscribe button, as I say, it makes a huge difference to a small channel like mine. Thank you. Hi, I'm contacting you about the KitchenAid. What's a good time to call you and figure out the details? Hello? Can you please answer me? Are you getting my messages? I need this by tomorrow. Why the fuck aren't you reading my messages? You are a rude and horrible person. I've never been disrespected like this before in my life. What the fuck? You messaged me in the middle of the night. I was asleep. Why would you expect otherwise? Also, I'm already waiting to hear back from someone about the mixer. If they don't respond by noon today, I will let you know. By the way, who am I speaking to? I expect if you want to sell something, you should be available for potential customers 24-7. What do you mean you're waiting to hear from someone? I spoke to Andrew and he said I could have the mixer. Why aren't you answering again? You should be ashamed of yourself leaving people hanging. Oh my god, I was getting ready for work. What the hell is wrong with you? I already told you I'm waiting to hear back from someone. And to be frank, even if they pass, I'm not selling to you. Stop messaging me. How dare you! Andrew's pro <laughs> Andrew promised me the mixer and said you'll be dropping it off tonight. My daughter is expecting a cake tomorrow. The post specifically said this is for picking up only. I'm not dropping off anything. And who the fuck is Andrew? And who are you? Mind your tongue, young lady. I'm a potential buyer and I expect to be treated with respect. <laughs> Andrew? Your brother? I don't have a brother named Andrew. We work together. I'm Mrs. Do you mean... Yes, your brother. Anyway, what time should I expect you tonight? And I think you should let me have it for $50, since you were so rude to me today. I don't think anyone else would be interested given how you treated me. I'm not lowering the price, but that should not worry you because I'm not selling to you anyway. Stop messaging me. I need the lower price on the mixer. I'm on financial aid and can't afford $150. Your brother promised me I could have it. You're the most unprofessional and rude person I have ever met. I just spoke to, and he has no idea what you're talking about. I need that mixer. I promise my kids cake tomorrow. Are you seriously going to let my family starve to save $100? You are the worst rude, inconsiderate fucking person I have ever met. I hope you never find yourself in any need. I'm on financial aid, can't you show a little compassion? How cold is your heart? Thanks for letting myself and my kids down. What am I supposed to make them now? I guess I'll tell them Andrew's sister is a bitch that doesn't want them to have cake. Why aren't you answering me? I'm sorry, I was having breakfast. Baked lemon cake yesterday. I hope you choke. Can I have it for free? Uh, no. Are you sure? Yes. My sick son is dying and he wants an amiibo before he passes away. Also, can you ship it for free? No. Shut up, stupid. How soon can you ship this? I'll give it to you for $50 if you're interested. Oh my god, shut up and send me the amiibo. My son is going to fur in a few days. I can, but this is at GameStop for free even. Well, go and get it at GameStop. Well, I can't. I don't get my allowance in a while. I'm only nine. And you have kids. Ah, stupid autocorrect. I'm 18. <laughs> I didn't want it anyway. My sixth son will die without it. Thanks for nothing. Bye. Shut up. <laughs> God damn it. I can't work out if this is actual like a child that posted this or not. But it really, if it was an adult, it really triggers me when adults use their kids to try and get something for cheap. He say he was like 18 and he said his child was 
well, even even so, say his child was five, like sort of old enough to use an amoeba or whatever, that would still make him 13 when the child was born. That is one busy guy. <laughs> Do you plan on the game being free upon full release? It's really sad when you come across a game you like but you have to pay for it. I understand that there are struggles and that game making is hard. I'm just trying to state that some people might want to play it upon full release and not have the money to spare purchasing it. Hello, is the Switch still available for $100? Yes, but I'm selling it for $200. Go back to the page, it's listed. But I really, really need it for $100. I have no more money. I already promised my sister I'd get it. You have to give it to me for a hundred now! Since I don't need it that much, I make it 150. Final offer, take it or leave it. It's already half the original price. I only have a hundred dollars. Please, I'll do anything to get it. Then pay the money. Fuck you. Bye. The guy offered it for a hundred and fifty dollars. Man, I'd have snapped his arm off for that price. But I do wonder if anyone is actually undersold an item like for a hundred dollars yeah less that's like an insane amount i'd love to jump into the mind of a choosy beggar when they're sort of thinking i wonder if i can get like a hundred dollars off this because i only have a hundred I, I guess it's worth trying but then you end up on reddit don't you <laughs> have a good day great negotiating i don't need it bad enough to pay forty dollars for a broken device broken still works screens just cracked I won't go lower than 30. I'm good. You owe me $15 for my time. <laughs> so, choosy beggars are actually starting to charge for their time now, so be warned, people. Can you make one that's actually decent? If I wanted to post trash edits, I'd whip one together myself. If you think they're trash, that's fine, but I'm not going to spend hours making something for a stranger, especially one that calls my content trash. How are you going to grow without shoutouts, retard? You legit have less followers than me. Followers aren't everything. For shoutouts they are. <laughs> so this guy offers exposure for some edits and then the OP calls him out and says he has less followers than him. All that exposure. Gone. <laughs> I know most, my family, won't read this and I'm sure I don't care but I'm going to vent. Pretty damn sad that family can use and take advantage of each other. It's really sad when they borrow and borrow and never repay. I know I'm guilty and have done everything I can to make up for what I've done in my past. However, it is sad when one person to whom is no longer here, in which we lost last month, there is still an outstanding balance due to cover remaining funeral expenses. This of which was has now fallen on my mother and my hands to pay, which isn't fair. I made the executive decision when making the funeral arrangements that no expense would be spared for this man because he more than deserved a nice funeral. A man who gave so much to so many and would never ask for anything in return. Who gave and gave to many and never repaid him. So here my mother never asked for anything from this man and was helping and giving even when he didn't ask for it or needed it or not. The final death falls on her and myself. This is beyond fair. Shame on those of you that never repaid him. Shame on those that didn't help out when we asked for help to cover the remaining expenses. I however would like to thank those that were able to help. You are appreciated more than you know. Family may be miles apart or just a trip down the road, but why is it only the time families come together are for tragic events or holidays? Families need to stick together. Yes, I know I'm just as guilty, and I have a family that I need to make amends with. I'm asking once again for help to finalise the outstanding balance for my cousin who left us last month. Please let me know if you can help us take care of the remaining balance. <laughs> so, although this one is kind of sad, but this person organised a funeral and spared no expense and then expects everyone to cough up and pay for it. <sighs> it's, yeah, it's quite pathetic really. I'm not sure about you, but I want a basic funeral. How my ideal funeral would be like my corpse flung from a trebuchet, like sort of ragdoll style, and then everyone getting happily drunk afterwards. That is just it, because I'm not there, so why does it matter, you know? <laughs> and I think most people I talk to think the same. Well, not the trebuchet, but like a low-key funeral, and people just to enjoy themselves and not be depressed. I'm needing some cigarettes very bad. My mum is bring me some, not till seven-ish. There's someone living in Ozark area around Fremont Hill exit. Can please help me out? 
pretty please. I'm going crazy and not much gas though. Oh my god. Do people really make the effort to post this sort of stuff? Is, is, does anyone actually help these people? I mean, come on. And excuse the pronunciation of the location. I don't know if Ozark. I've never heard of that place before. <laughs> so excuse that if that's completely wrong, which it probably is. But anyway, this guy is desperate for some Siggy, so help the guy out. Yeah. And he did say pretty please, so if you're in the area, you know what to do. If you made it to this part, I'd like to say a huge thank you for watching it all the way through. It makes a massive difference for a tiny, tiny channel like mine. Um, and if you do want to see more, hit that subscribe, hit that like button as it inspires me to create more every day. Thank you very much, guys. Take care now. Goodbye.